with the first ever espionage related charge since new laws were introduced in 2018. They are a woman aged 40 and a man aged 62. The woman is an army private in the Australian Defence Force. The AFP arrested the married couple yesterday morning at their Everton Park home in Brisbane. They have been charged with one count each of preparing for an espionage offence, which carries a maximum penalty of 15 years imprisonment. They will appear before Brisbane Magistrates Court today. The Counter Foreign Interference Task Force, which includes AFP, ASIO and other Commonwealth partners, has dedicated significant resources and capability to Operation Burgazada. The AFP will allege the individuals work together to access Australian Defence Force material that related to Australia's national security interests. We allege the woman was undertaking non-declared travel to Russia whilst she was on long-term leave from the Australian Defence Force. We allege that while she was in Russia, she instructed her husband, who remained in Australia, on how to log into her official work account from their Brisbane home. We allege her husband would access requested material and would send to his wife in Russia. We allege they sought that information with the intention of providing it to Russian authorities. Whether that information was handed over remains a key focus of our investigation. There are a couple of critical points that I want to make today. This alleged criminality has been disrupted. Currently, no significant compromise has been identified. Our Five Eyes partners and the Australian Government can be confident that the robust partnerships within the Counter Foreign Interference Task Force mean we will continue to identify and disrupt espionage and foreign interference activity. I want to thank the very clever members of the AFP, ASIO and those individuals in the task force for their ingenuity and determination. Finally, I'll also take an opportunity to speak to the public and separately state actors. Firstly, to the Australian public. Espionage is not a victimless crime and it is certainly growing. It has the potential to impact on Australia's sovereignty, safety and way of life. It happens in the shadows and the daylight and I ask Australians to call the National Security Hotline on 1800 123 400 if they feel something does not seem right. Secondly, we know Western democracies, including Australia, are being targeted by state actors. But Australia's intelligence and law enforcement agencies have the laws, capability and tradecraft to identify these spies and those seeking to undermine Australia's interests.